What's up, y'all? Tammy Talks here. Let's go ahead and get into the next stop on the apology tour for Love is Blind Season 4. If you're brand new to my channel, I break down TV shows one recap at a time with my own thoughts, opinions, and theories on everything that happened in that particular episode. So if you enjoy that type of content, if you have been here for a second, third, or fourth time, you've been rocking with me through all of my Love is Blind commentary, Thank you, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Go on and rock with me, okay? So, let's talk Jacqueline Bonds. So, y'all know we've been covering Jackie's text messages. We've been covering Jackie's receipts. We've been covering Micah's apology. We've been covering Irina's apology. So, it's only fair that we talk about Jackie's apology. Or, I'm sorry, Jackie's apology, all right? So, let's talk about this, y'all. So Jackie took to her Instagram yesterday, which was April 18th. Yes, which was April 18th after the airing of the reunion. It's very interesting. It's very interesting to me that this apology comes on the heels of her posting and deleting receipts. Okay, so which I did a video on, you know, Y'all go check out the Love is Blind playlist. I did a video on her posting these receipts. Probably somebody being like, girl, just let it go in her deleting their receipts, okay? As opposed, this also came on the heels of her sitting up on the reunion in her pre-recorded interview with Vanessa, which we found out was just, you know, recorded the day before, in which she really didn't take any accountability for anything. So what Jackie wants us to know is that the whole thing she's been trying to, to prove is that she broke up with Marshall before the coffee shop date. She's not saying that she never at any point met up with Josh, which we know that she did off camera because she said it in interviews. Some other people are also pointing out that she said in an interview that her one-year anniversary with Josh is April 27th, which is before the dress fitting, which is before the coffee scene date. Nonetheless, let's read her apology, y'all. I would like to start this off by saying I sincerely apologize and take accountability for my actions and words in my relationship between Marshall and I. I also want to take the time to express my gratitude and appreciation for Marshall clearing up that I did, in fact, end the relationship before meeting Josh at the coffee shop. I understand that it was a quick transition from one relationship to another, but this relationship did not start as most do in the real world. To some, it may seem as if it was a quick transition. However, there is only a small percent that can be shown on TV and that my connection with Josh was much deeper than it seems from a viewer's perspective. I would also like to thank Marshall for taking accountability for the derogatory comment that was made off camera. I would also like to apologize and take accountability for my disparaging remarks as well in those leaked messages. It was tasteless and disrespectful to speak about anyone that way. It was never a battle between Marshall and I. I just wanted to clear the timeline of the events that took place as it looked as if I was a cheater and starting one relationship before leaving the other. I am thankful to Vanessa Lachey for, I am thankful that Vanessa Lachey allowed me to speak my piece and take accountability for my actions. All I can do is learn and grow from this experience. Like Marshall said at the reunion, we both deserve happiness peace, and to be able to move on from what transpired last year. Marshall and I have, have personally apologized to each other and also took accountability for our actions and moved on. I would also like to apologize and take accountability to the public as it was done for the show, on the show for everyone to see. Actions speak louder than words. Signed, Jacqueline Bond, yours truly. So first things first. She ran this through Grammarly, okay? Everything is spelled correctly. It, punctuation is where it should be. Grammar, you know, I give her an A minus. There, there were some issues, but we'll give her an A minus. But in all seriousness, Jackie could have done this before the reunion aired. 
Jackie could have done this the night of the reunion. Jackie's whole thing, okay, is that she wants to prove that she did not meet up and get with Josh before breaking up with Marshall officially. I'm sorry, but she's, like I said, she's done interviews where she has all but said, I met up with Josh off camera. Me and Josh met up off camera. You said that. But if you want to take accountability, girl, great. 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 Let's dissect this a little bit. She wants to ex um, express gratitude and appreciation for Marshall clearing up the fact that I did in that she did in fact end the relationship before meeting Josh at the coffee shop. That's all Jackie cares about. Jackie doesn't care. Um, Jackie doesn't care that she did anything wrong. I truly do not believe she does. And the reason that I say that, the reason I said that with Micah, the reason I said that with Irina is because if it takes for you to get dragged to and fro, for you to accept accountability, for you to acknowledge and take accountability, you're not truly sorry. Jackie's not truly sorry because Jackie still sat up here and posted receipts. Trying to prove, well, he did this to me first. He did this. He did this. He did this. But, okay. She said that she understands it was a quick transition, but this relationship did not start its most in the do world, in the, in the real world. It may seem as if it was quick, but there's a small percent that can be shown on TV. Here's the thing. Nobody doubted her connection with Josh. When we were watching it, she could have picked Marshall. She could have been picked Josh in the pies. And I don't think anybody would have been like, you should have picked Marshall. You pick who you want in the pies. You know what I mean? I feel like the only the only couple that people were really like, what? It's the Bliss Irina situation just because Zach was saying how awful of a person, how how crass, how like mean girl-ish Irina was in the pods just to turn around and pick her anyways. If, if Jackie would have picked Josh in the pods, it would like nobody would have questioned it. Nobody's doubting your connection with Josh. It is a quick turnaround, though, whether she wants to say it's, it, it is or not. But if you went from breaking up with Marsha, whether it was uh, one day or two days before, and then you're at the coffee shop and now in a relationship with Mert and with Josh, that is a quick turnaround, sis. It just is. It just is. I just feel like Jackie is doing so much backtracking and talking in circles. Come out and say, I apologize for what I said to Marshall. That was wrong. I just want y'all to know that I did not cheat on him. Marshall has already proven that. Be with your man and be done and be quiet about it. But I just, I don't, uh, yeah, yeah. She wants to thank Marshall for taking accountability for the derogatory comment. I'm sorry, but him saying that you have a strong jawline, it's not a derogatory comment, girl. It's just not. Is it rude to say? Sure. You can definitely say he made a rude comment towards me. But to say that it was derogatory, I just feel like that's putting a lot of dip on the chip to me. To me. My opinion. My opinion. That's all it is. It's just an opinion. So she does apologize for the way that her and her friends talked about Marshall, great, great, great. We can we can allow that. I mean, we can acknowledge that. We will accept that. Her saying that Vanessa Lachey allowed her to take accountability. You did not take accountability on the reunion, though. You pointed a finger on the reunion. You're thanking Vanessa Lachey for allowing you to come on and uh, basically attack Marshall without having to answer any questions and not having to be really in a reunion setting. Jackie is now with Josh. Be happy. Be with your dude. We wish y'all are the best. If y'all had the better connection, y'all had the better connection. But you shouldn't have, you know, felt like you had to tear down Marshall to do that. That's my whole point. You put out a whole thing about receipts trying to prove why Marshall was so awful. You wanted to prove Marshall was so awful. He was so mean. Look, I even told everybody. I told everybody. And then look, y'all, 
I, I told her I broke up here and then we met up here like you did too much. Whenever people do all that talking, it's because you're trying to conceal something. If Marshall is saying, and I know people keep telling me to watch this interview he did, but if Marshall is saying that he knows for a fact that they met up at the coffee shop the day after the dress fitting, we saw that in the text messages. When did you start talking to Josh? Because you've been saying in interviews that y'all met up off camera. That's all we're saying. Do we accept Jackie's apology? Sure, girl. Sure. I feel like she apologized and did what needed to be to be done. The apology needed to be her apologizing for the, the negative things that she said about Marshall. She knows it was wrong. She apologized for that. We'll go forward. That's all we can do. But I don't want to hear anything else about Jackie coming out and now saying about editing or saying about any of that other stuff. You, you, y'all want to move forward from the show? Move forward from it. We shouldn't hear nothing else from you, Jack. Okay, she hear nothing else from you, Jackie girl. Not until we get to after the altar. Let me know what you guys think about her apology. How do you guys feel about it? Especially the fact that it came on the heels of her trying to once again expose and spin a narrative and and paint a picture right after the reunion and then posting these receipts. Do you think that she should have done this apology right away after the reunion? Do you think she should have done this apology before the reunion? What do you guys think? Of, like, what do you guys think about that? Do you think it's too little too late or are we going to accept everybody's apology? I mean, we don't have to accept it. She didn't. Did she? I mean. I still think she didn't apologize to us, but she did. What do you guys think about it? I'm curious. I mean, do I accept her apology? I guess. Sure. Sure. I just feel like Jackie seems like the type that's going to double back and want to spin the block and then start some more shit. So if you're apologizing and you want this to be it, you then let's let this be it. Because you also said in the reunion that you have grown so much from the past year, but you have you were also just posting you know uh, TikToks and and Instagram comments laughing and trying to be funny and all this other stuff you were still being messy so let's see how long this lasts y'all hop in the comments down below if you have not already subscribed to the channel thumbs up the video check out my recap of the reunion check out my videos on Jackie's receipts on Jackie's text messages um, and then everything else that I do. All right. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.